Good day grade 12. Welcome to this first lesson where we're doing some exam prep for the September exams and in this week what we're going to do is we're going to specifically look at exam questions on the work that you've just done in this last term. That is electric circuits, electrodynamics, photoelectric effect, redox and chemical industry. Next week we will still be revising for our September exam prep and then what we'll do is we'll revise the sections before that, in other words the stuff we did in the first half of the year. Right, so let's get started. First, let's look at some multiple choice questions. The first question says three light bulbs X, Y and Z are connected in circuit as shown and it says X and Y are identical and have a resistance R. So they both have a resistance R while the resistance of Z is 2R. Okay. The battery has negligible internal resistance which is always nice. It says when the switch S is closed all the bulbs glow and the reading on the ammeter is 2 amps. So the reading on ammeter A is 2 amps. It says which one of the following correctly describes the readings on the ammeters when bulb Z blows out? Okay, bulb Z. So suddenly bulb Z blows out. If that's the case, do you agree that before the current is going along and just splitting along and part of the current was going here and part of the current was going here? Okay, but now because Z has died, that means that there's no current going along this whole pit here because this is in parallel. So all of that is gone. So therefore the current in ammeter A2 is zero and in A3 is zero. So therefore these two are the correct options. Now if we look here, do you see it says that this was the reading on the ammeter A, but that was before it split. In other words, this was the total current going through the circuit. Now, the circuit only is made up of the series circuit, so therefore A1 is going to have the same reading as A, so therefore the correct answer is A. Right, let's do the next question. It says, which one of the following graphs is the correct representation of the current versus time from, for a direct current generator? And guys, this year is basic stuff that you need to learn, it's theory. Basically what happens is that normally your generator produces AC current, alternating current, and your current looks like a sine graph. But when you change it, or when you set it up to be a DC generator, then it means there's no negative, so it becomes bouncy, bouncy. So the correct answer is B. Right, let's look at question 110. Yeah, it says light of a certain frequency is incident on a metal surface and photoelectrons are emitted from the surface. So they're being emitted. Now it says the intensity of the same light is increased. Now intensity is the brightness, is the brightness. And they want to know what happens. Does the kinetic energy of the pho emitted photoelectrons increase or decrease? Or do the number of photoelectrons emitted per second increase or decrease? Now the best way to understand this is to look at the equation for the photoelectric effect, which says that E is equal to H F0 plus a half mv squared. So E, which is HF, is equal to um, HF0 plus a half mv squared. And the reason I want to show you this is because we're seeing that frequency, the frequency of the incident light affects the kinetic energy. So the intensity of the light does not affect the kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectrons. The frequency of the light affects the kinetic energy. So we can immediately cross out those two. Right. Now we know it's the number of photoelectrons and if the intensity is increased the, and you already have photoelectrons being emitted, then the brighter the light, the more elect photoelectrons are emitted per second. So the correct answer is C. Right, now let's do some chemistry questions. It says which one of the following is an example of a galvanic cell? Now a galvanic cell is a voltaic cell and a voltaic cell is one that converts chemical energy to electrical
electrical energy to electrical energy not the other way around so the cell that is using a torch is the correct answer not one where we are using where electroplating occurs or where copper is refined or in which the chlorine is prepared with from brine the correct answer for galvanic cell is a cell that is used in a torch now it says which one of the following is a primary nutrient in plants and guys you need to learn this when one of the primary nutrients you could actually remember from the NPK ratio if you either want nitrogen phosphorus or potassium and the correct answer then obviously is D which is nitrogen right so those are typical uh, multiple choice questions that you can get covering the work that we have done this last term and we will look at some nice long questions covering this work in the next few lessons so please go and have a look at those have a great day